Are social anxiety and shyness the same? I don't think so. We'll talk all about it. Stay tuned. That's what's up next. Hi, my name is Natasha Daniels. I'm a therapist and I make videos for people with anxiety or OCD. And today I wanna to talk about social anxiety because many of you know social anxiety is near and dear to my heart. It is something that I have struggled with my entire life. And one of the struggles with social anxiety is the misperception of what it actually is, which can be a little bit frustrating for those of us that are struggling with social anxiety. Not only am I struggling with social anxiety or have struggled with it, um, I have specialized in anxiety and OCD, and I'm raising three kids who all have some level of social anxiety. And it's not shyness. Um, that's the spoiler alert on this video, is a lot of times people think that those are interconnected, that they are synonymous, like shyness means social anxiety, social anxiety means shyness. No. Yes, can you be shy and have social anxiety? Absolutely. Can social anxiety create another level of shyness? Completely. Do you have to be shy to have social anxiety? Not at all. People can be outgoing. They can be the opposite of shy. They can be extroverts. They could be introverts. They could be whatever they wanna be. Social anxiety is the fear of judgment, criticism, rejection, embarrassment. It is the feeling that other people need to accept you in order to feel whole. That doesn't relate to social, that doesn't relate to shyness. You might feel shy or, um, you know, not someone to jump into things because you are worried about the rejection, the judgment, the criticism, but not all of us show up as shy. I, for instance, am very quiet in social situations where I don't know new people. I don't know people. Um, I'm withdrawn, I'm reserved. I'm watching the crowd or I'm watching the group. I'm not warming up as quickly as everyone else, but I'm not shy. I'm not shy at all. In fact, I'm a pretty outgoing person when I am in a comfortable setting. I'm an introvert, so my battery is getting depleted as I am in that group, but I'm not shy. However, a lot of us with social anxiety can be misperceived as shy um, or aloof or rude because we are sometimes more withdrawn or reserved because of our social anxiety. And that, that is a big difference than being shy. Another misperception, and that's my dog, <laughs> another misperception is that we don't have social skills. And a lot of us have very good social skills, but that doesn't prevent us from, from being worried about being judged, criticized, and rejected. And so it's the stories that we tell ourselves that really increase our social anxiety. Um, I am doing a lot more content on social anxiety, and I would love for you to be part of that. I have a new project on social anxiety, and part of my social anxiety exposure is I'm not gonna edit out my dog barking, because we're all imperfect, and that is okay, and I'm lazy, <laughs> to be honest. But I want you to follow me um, and follow my work on social anxiety if you're interested. I have created some new platforms on Instagram and Facebook very specific to social anxiety. I'll continue to do videos on here periodically, but I'm gonna do daily content over there. You can follow me at Social Anxiety Reality, and you can follow me on Instagram, and I have a page called Social Anxiety Reality on Facebook, whatever is your flavor. Follow me there, and you'll hear about my new project that's coming in the next year, and I'm very excited to share that with you. I hope that you find a sparkle in everything you do, and I'll talk to you again next Thursday. Take care.